Captivating online photographs begin with a little thought on the object's presentation. Work with solid backgrounds that don't visually compete with your item. Buyers like details, so fill your frame as much as possible and capture all the angles of your item. But once you've captured your image, you need to work with it to get it down to size. You don't want your potential buyers to turn you down before the image has time to download. Welcome back to The Whole Picture. I'm Erin Manning, and I'm sitting here with Lee Roberts, and we've been downloading all of her images to the computer to take a look. So I went ahead and downloaded all the pictures on the computer. So let's go ahead and click through and find some that will really work. Okay. Okay, they're starting to look better. I can see where you're filling the frame. The lighting on that looks great. Pretty nice. Okay. That's, you know what, let's start with this one. Okay. Because we want an overview shot. Let's go ahead and crop this first because there's still some extra information in here that we probably don't need. So let's come up here to the menu bar and click on File, Save As to begin with. The next thing we'll do, and this is called File Management, we're going to create a new folder. Go ahead and click New Folder and name it something that you can remember for this particular auction. So you could call it Online Pictures or Auction whatever you like. Whatever's easy for you to find. That's the key to file management. Go ahead and click create. This gives us the folder we'll save everything to. Now go ahead and name this picture. Let's call it overview since that's what it is. Okay, overview. And then go ahead and click save. Okay, this is a JPEG dialog box and it gives us some options here. Right now it's on maximum quality, which is what we want, and also baseline standard. Now that's just okay. a standard ver version of viewing this particular JPEG, so anyone could see it. Go ahead and click on OK. Great. Now let's start cropping. And we'll do this by coming over here to the toolbar on the left. Click on the crop tool. It's right here. This one? Uh huh little box with like a line drawn through it. Now we're going to crop this and there isn't really that much information we need to crop out on this particular photograph. I think you have enough room at the top so maybe start at the very left hand top of the image and click and hold down and we're going to drag all the way down to the lower right. Okay, so start right here? Uh-huh. So just click and then drag down to about somewhere down here. About there, that's good. Now just let go. Now just so you know, these little um, dancing ants that are going around the image, that means that's where we're going to crop. So that's what you're viewing. And we have little bounding boxes all around the edges. You wanna click and drag on one of those to make this box a little bit bigger. I would say extend it a little bit more on the upper part. Put it right here. And just very carefully, just drag it up just a little. Sometimes it's a little touchy. There you go, just like that. Go ahead and bring down the slider bar so it sits right in the middle. Good. I think that looks good. You could also, you could bring this in a little bit here on the left. On this side. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Go ahead and double good. click inside the box and that will crop it for us. Okay. Oh, good. That looks good. Now, this is the overview picture everyone's going to see on the online auction. Now, the other thing we want to play with, too, is resizing the photograph, okay? Because all the online auction places have certain digital specs for the photographs. This particular auction we're going to be uploading to later wants us to have it a certain size. So I'll show you how to do that. Come up here to the menu bar and click on Image. And come down to Resize and carefully roll over to image size. Okay. Now, we have an image size dialog box with a lot of information in it, right? Pixel dimensions, document size, and all these little boxes click down here. We're not gonna pay too much attention to document size today because that's more for printing out, but what we do wanna pay attention to right now is resolution. Okay. Um, all the images on a screen that you see are about 72 pixels per inch. So we really don't need it to be any larger than that for viewing on screen, and that's where everyone's going to see it. So just double click in there. Okay, on the resolution? Uh-huh, in resolution and type in 72. Okay, the other thing we want to pay attention to before we change, change anything else like pixel dimensions on here would be constrained proportions and make sure this box is checked, which it already is, but just in case, make sure it's always checked and I'll show you why in a minute. Let's come over here, come up to pixel dimensions and in the width, just double click in that box and type in 300 because the maximum file size this online auction place wants it to be is 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Okay, so, so type in 300. 300. 
Now you notice the height also changes mm -hmm. at the same time proportionally. That's because we click the constrained proportions box. Okay. So it starts to make sense. You'll also notice that the height now is still too high. We need the maximum file size is 300 by 300. So let's double click in the height box and type in 300 there. Now the width is now a little less than 300, but that's okay. We're under the maximum file size. So go ahead and click okay. There you go. Okay, now we wanna make sure that we're seeing it in the actual size we're gonna view it in. So just click over here on the zoom tool. Right here. Uh-huh. And click actual pixels. And that will show us the actual size that someone oh, will great. see it. That's the size everyone will see now when you're selling this item online. Now that your image is up to your standards, let's see if it's up to the buyers. Uploading the final image to the online auction, that's coming up.